Okay, hi YouTube. It's me, Ariana, and uh, I figured I owed you guys another things to do in Connecticut video since I haven't done any um, of those videos since the karaoke one. And um, so pretty much, well, I'm, I'm with my friend Tommy right now. Say hi to camera, Tommy. Hey people, I'm driving a stick. Yes, yes, <laughs> he's, he's driving a stick shift little car. It's a Saturn Ion. Anyway, so we're doing one of the things that we uh, tend to do in Connecticut, known as joyriding. And even though the gas, I mean, the gas of price, I'm okay. The price of gas is ridiculous and everything. We still find time to enjoy the little things in life. I like joyriding through the middle of the jankiest city known as Ansonia, Connecticut, which actually does have some good stuff. I mean, there are a lot of abandoned factories and everything, but there's still the Safari Lounge, which has amazing coffee and hot chocolate. And smoothies. Have, yes, great smoothies, great milkshakes. So check out Safari Caffeine Lounge if you're in the area. And what in the holy hell is this person doing? They're like, I don't know what a green light is. Anyway. Well, so, the person in the Pontiac Vibe up there was in a right turn only lane, decided to go straight. Oh. Uh, yeah, that lane confuses the shit out of people. But anyway, ooh, look at that sexy gold Camaro. Mm. Very nice. Anyway, so, yeah, just a quick little things to do in Connecticut thing. Um, yeah, let me see. What is Ansonia known for besides having a lot of abandoned factories and the Birmingham group, which helps needy people and... We've got Wells Fargo, Fargo Lewis Jewelry. Yeah. Oh, and that's where I get my eyebrows waxed by really, really nice Asian ladies. Who... That's such a stereotype. <laughs> it's true, though. Oh, and then there's only Ooh, for nice her... Chrysler. Oh, cool. But anyway, that's Salva Jolly. They're really cool. Uh, then there's Planet Air. So that's good coffee, too. Really good Greek coffee. And we passed M Mike's cl Classic Cuts. He's funny as shit. Uh, my mom goes to him to have her hair cut. But yeah, Best Nails, too, is where I get my eyebrows waxed. And it's really funny because the little old lady who waxes my eyebrows, I remember the first time I went in there and she looked at me. She, like, brushed my eyebrows a little bit. She and she's like, oh, no. She's like, you need eyebrow. You need eyebrow real bad. <laughs> and so I... I it was an Elantra. Oh. Yeah, one, of my, one day. One of my whatever. friend's girlfriends just recently bought one of those new. Uh-huh. And she's already complaining about the gas mileage. It's rated at 40 miles per gallon. And Hyundai's in, and Hyundai's in trouble that's, with the EPA for lying about it. The, and that big castle-looking building over there that I don't know if you saw because I'm using the front camera on my phone. But anyway... Uh, that's the armory. Armory's pretty much where we go if there's a zombie apocalypse and whatnot. <laughs> it's true! But anyway, I, yeah, I remember one girl was really dumb who I went to high school with. Well, I went to high school and, like, another school with her, but for certification. But anyway, she lived in Ansonia at one point, and we were, like, trying to describe, a, like, a location of wherever to her. And we're like, do you know where the armory is in Ansonia? She's like... What's an armory? <laughs> and I'm like, Seymour Educational System at its best. <laughs> and this is why, well, at least we're not as bad as Nagatuck because Nagatuck is where the state capital of STDs and teen pregnancy is. I mean, hell, they're even starting to put Nagafuck on the actual signs, like people are spray painting the F and turning it, I mean, the T and turning it into an F. Whatever. But anyway, ooh, look at all those pretty magnolia trees. Anyway, whoa! whoa. <laughs> Don't rear end anyone for crying out loud. <laughs> yeah, that's another thing that Connecticut is known for this. People suddenly breaking. Well, yes, that and, and you being a nut job and driving like a bat out of hell. <laughs> what but can anyway. I say? I enjoy driving a stick. If you, don't, if you don't drive a stick, you don't drive an actual car. Okay. That comes from the Tommy Meister himself. Anyway, this is my road and stuff, so I will talk to you people later. Bye-bye.